Hi, I am Joseph. Hi there, I am Joseph, a senior high school student, a YouTube content creator, and a Twitch live streamer. This video is all about me. Why did I start creating content on YouTube? Why did I start streaming on Twitch? And most importantly, who was I in the past? Who was I before all of this? And what do I plan to be in the future? Well, here's the story. I was born in Manila on June 20th of 2005. My first six years I spent with my whole family in Quezon City. As a young child, especially in my first three to four years, I really, really, really love playing with toys, especially when it comes to marbles, cars, and some arcade games. I also really love playing with toys that are related to bowling because to this present day, bowling is my favorite sport, followed by basketball. The very first toy I got was obviously a bowling toy and then it would be followed by a couple of marble run toys and then I think cars are next after that. If I were to pick what my favorite toy was, I think it would definitely be the marble run because I got three total boxes of those and then I was able to build a very tall course of it, like a very tall tower and then yeah, I just enjoy all the marbles just going down in different courses and then straight all the way to the bottom. I did not use a lot of computer and phone back then because I was really really enjoying my toys and just watching TV sometimes and that's pretty much all. And of course I cannot forget talking with my family. I was I think four or five years old when I started my school journey. I spent my preschool years in St. Mary's College of Quezon City and it was a pretty fun one too but there were some very embarrassing moments but good thing it only happened in front of my classmates. I made a lot of friends and some classmates were a little rude, quote unquote rude to me but I didn't mind, I had to get used to them. I lived in Quezon City until in 2011, we decided to go to Caloacan City, which where I am right now. I have grew up a lot here and I have been living in the city for the past decade or a little over than that. And obviously I enrolled to a new school when I, I, was, when I was about to start my elementary years. Fun fact, I was supposed to enroll in this school called St. Mary's Academy in Caloacan City. But yeah, I did take an exam. I don't know if that was an entrance exam, but last minute, my family decided to move to the school next door, which was Notre Dame of Greater Manila. To this day, that is still the school that I am involved to because I really love it a lot. I respect the teachers, I respect the quality of education, and most of all, I really respect the, my fellow students because they are really polite, but obviously, not everyone is polite. I met a couple of very rude uh, fellow students but it all happened in the past. Three pandemic days I really used to travel a lot. My first time traveling was domestic. We went my family went to Cebu City and then my first out of country travel ever was to Singapore in 2014. I don't know if I have some pictures but if I do happen to find some I'll show you guys right now. And yeah, that was a really fun experience. I really enjoyed that. I was only 9 years old back then, and yeah. Now, let's move on to my present self. Why did I start streaming on Twitch? How did I start my gaming journey? And what do I plan to be in the future? And why did I start vlogging here on YouTube? I was grade 8, and then all of a sudden, March 2020, Everything was shut down, we cannot go outside, 
all because of this one virus called COVID-19. At first, when I found out that school was shutting down, I was happy. I was happy because our summer started very early, quarterly exams were cancelled, and I just had to take a few more assignments and then I was free for the next few months. And then, reality struck, the longer, the longer I was inside the house, I got bored, a lot more bored, and boredom was really kicking in. Until I started playing more games on my laptop and on my phone. The first ever mobile game I played was Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Very popular game here in the Philippines and until now I still play it but not as often on my rookie days. I played Mobile Legends because a lot of my friends play it. They just told me download the game. It's very fun but I had to be careful because they also told me that there is some toxicity in the game and I just simply tried to ignore the very toxic messages and just play on. In the PC category, the first game I ever played on my laptop was called Team Fortress 2. A first person shooting player versus player game. You can kill each other, you can taunt together, you're, you can team up with your friends. Now let me explain why did I start uploading videos on YouTube. I started my first ever YouTube channel in 2017 and the channel name was Joseph Bondok 11 and you guessed it, the 11 represents my age. So basically, I was 11 years old when I first started my channel. I know I was born in 2005 but I said I was 11 years old so it was obviously I started my YouTube channel before June. I posted very random talking videos and they made no sense but some people were still very polite enough to support my channel despite the very very cringe videos. They have no edits, they were very raw and I was just doing very random actions. All I can say is my videos were very cringe back then. But obviously, the power of video editing has really taken, taken over this world. And then a couple months later, I made two more YouTube channels. Joseph Bondock 11, the gaming and technology world, where I basically upload videos that I get related to gaming and some technology tutorials. And then the other channel was called Joseph Bondock Vlogging Adventures, if I remember correctly. And just from the name, I upload videos where I did some traveling. And that was the first YouTube channel that I did that had some video editing in it. Because that's where I discovered video editors and I, know, I, I knew that they can really, really make your videos better. Because you can add text, sound effects, music, and a lot more. And then on March of 2021, I started live streaming on this social media platform called Twitch. Well, why did I even bother starting streaming on this platform? Let me tell you in one word. Pandemic. I was really bored of my mind and I didn't have school for, I think it was a long weekend back then. I got really bored. I had nothing to do and I just decided to create a Twitch account and then do my first stream. The first ever game I stream on Twitch was Team Fortress 2. Yep, Team Fortress 2. That first person PvP game. I streamed on Twitch every day for the first few weeks and then I just decided to switch to Mobile Legends where I got a little more discovered and I just decided to make a consistent schedule. And that really helped my channel grow. And as of today, my Twitch channel is over a year old and it's currently sitting at 500 followers and counting. I cannot express enough gratitude for all the support that I have been receiving these past few years. Going back to face-to-face -face school was really rough. I did in fact make a vlog on my first day back and it was very funny but at the same time it was kind of stressful as well because we were doing a couple of laboratory experiments and yeah, we worked very hard to finish those on time. It felt really good and it was really excited to finally go back and see my fellow classmates and my longtime friends again in the school because 
yeah, we haven't seen each other in person for over two years and we just really missed each other and it was a rough two years but I'm happy that we were able to go through the pandemic and everything is going back to what we know. The new normal is starting and everyone is just happy again that we can finally go back to the outside world while just being a little careful, especially that the virus will be around forever. Now for my future plans, I currently am planning to be an information technology worker, basically everything related to computers. And to be more general, I really want to be an app developer. I still don't know what apps to develop, like will it be games? Or will it be normal apps like social media, uh, working, like apps used for work, for school? It's still undecided. Well, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you understood every single thing that I explained in this video because, yeah, I don't do really good in explaining stuff. Once again, my name is Joseph. Thank you again so much for watching and bye-bye.